Hey everyone, today will be a quick look at Utawara Rimono Mask of Deception on its 1.02 patch with a resolution hack applied to make the game render all aspects at 540p. Mask of Deception already had most of its elements rendered at 540p, but the in-game assets when the battles take place were dialed back, rendering non-UI elements at only 672 by 384 the hack restores the resolution up to 960 by 540 which is a 102% increase in pixel count. This hack was found out by Weakness Passe, and for those interested, an explanation of how he did it and his Twitter will be linked in the description. In addition, he was also the one who created the English patch for the Japanese version of the game, which is what I'm using for this test. The description will also have an album of screenshots taken directly off of the Vita so you have a good idea of how big the resolution difference is and what you'll be getting. For the record, I skipped over most of the dialogue over my 2 hour experience of the game, so I can't speak much about that. However, what I can say is that if you fast forward the text too much, it'll hang while it tries to load what is coming next, regardless of the Vita's clock speeds. Over these 2 hours, I was able to play the first 7 battles. When I started the game, I set the Vita's clock speeds to minimum settings, 111MHz for the CPU and GPU, to see how far I could get without the frame rate dipping. Within a couple of minutes, the frame rate did have a pocket of 28 FPS, but outside that, performance was mostly stable. Performance issues only started showing up once I started the 7th battle. The frame rate had occasional dips whenever it was a new character's turn, and whenever Kupopo used the ability Otomi Subaki if the auto chain was turned off. The first case was fixed when the Vita was clocked to default settings, but the ability still caused a dip in frame rate. It took me clocking the Vita to maximum settings to completely stabilize the frame rate. I swapped over to the game's original resolution to see if it would dip using this ability, and this was only the case when the video was clocked to minimum settings. Default and maximum settings were completely stable. So performance was mostly at 30 FPS, and as an aside, the game's pretty fun. I'll keep you up to date if any more native resolution hacks come by. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Yeah, <laughs> 